The coolest thing I've found out about recently is by far Obsidian. Obsidian is a free application that lets you store all of your notes in Markdown. That means that all of your notes are in plain text, not some proprietary binary format. Plain text has its perks. You can, like I do, version your notes using Git or any other source control, and generally just do all kinds of cool stuff with them. Easily share them, edit them, whatever. Here you'll see that we have headers, subheaders, code blocks, and links to other pages. Obsidian lets you do all that with plain text. You can even write math equations with latex, or latex, not really sure how you're supposed to say it. In fact, I've yet to find a smoother experience for writing math equations. Nothing else even comes close. You can review your equation as you write it, and it highlights the whole thing if there's an error. Completely seamless experience built in right into Obsidian. If you thought that was enough for just getting started, community plugins allow developers like you and me to extend the functionality of Obsidian. Someone wrote a plugin to turn code blocks into sheet music, which you'll see right here. But what are you supposed to do if, like me, you have a ton of notes in OneNote? OneNote is probably the best thing that I could find before I found Obsidian, and as such, I have tons and tons of notes in OneNote, or at least I did. In this video, we're going to move all of your OneNote notes out of that proprietary format and into plain text markdown, which you can then open in Obsidian and just continue with your day. As far as required software, we're doing this on a Windows 10 system. I can't speak to other versions of Windows. And you'll need Pandoc and Git to be installed. Pandoc performs the conversion to Markdown once we export to Microsoft Word format. And Git is used to clone the repository that I made for this. If you haven't already done so, you're going to need to allow PowerShell scripts to execute. What we're using today is a PowerShell script, and PowerShell scripts are disabled by default on Windows as a security option. So you just need to start an admin command prompt and use the set execution policy command to unrestricted so that we can execute any script that we want. You can always set this back to what you had it before once we're done. All you have to do is run the same command, but change the word unrestricted to restricted. Now, let's run our script. Open up a PowerShell prompt, head over to your desktop, and clone the Git repository. Then we can just run convert.ps1. That should convert all of your OneNote pages as best as it can to Markdown. If you go to your desktop, you'll now see a OneNote export folder, and inside of it is the name of your notebook as a folder. Then, in Obsidian, Choose Open Folder as Vault and go to that folder, and voila, you have all of your OneNote notes in Obsidian. Obsidian isn't the only Markdown note-taking application out there. There are others, so take a look around. I know there's some VS Code extensions that exist and things like that. It's just my favorite, so I am biased. If you take a look at the assets, you'll notice that each section has its own folder for assets where it puts a uniquely named image that was ripped out of the OneNote file using a conversion to HTML. A quick tip for Obsidian is if you find the images to be too large, you can always use a pipe symbol followed by the width of the image that you would like it to be to resize it. So there is one caveat to this approach. If you'll remember from our example OneNote notebook, we have this one advanced table here, and the one thing that makes it different is that it has multiple lines in this one cell, uh, unlike this other one, which doesn't have any of that going on. So if you happen to have line breaks in the cell, you will have a really ugly HTML conversion that occurs, whereas if you see the one without it, you get a nice clean markdown table outputted. Uh, so there is a fix for this that I found. Uh, you can just copy this entire code block, go to this website, uh, jmalarcon.github.io slash markdown tables. I'll throw a link in the description. You just control A, control V, you know, paste your table into the left side, hit generate, and you get the equivalent of that table in markdown, but it just kind of deletes the uh, line breaks. You can format it later if you want differently. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, throws it all together, but at least it gets you started. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to check out the source code. You can find a link to our GitHub on pagekeysolutions.com. And if you have any upgrades to make to the code, feel free. It's open source and you can contribute a pull request or whatever. I'll take a look and hopefully we can get it merged in.